Hello, hello, and welcome to the Introverted Manager. In today's video, I will show you how to extract data from page-based, paginated APIs directly in Power BI without utilizing any additional tools or scripts, just Power Query and AMP language. First, I will show you briefly how page-based APIs look like and then do a walkthrough on how to set it up. Let's dive right in. Okay, let's start by looking into Postman and how page-based APIs look like. Here I have some API I found on the internet, which fits the bill. Basically, if you send a request, this is what we get as a response. Two parameters that are of interest for us, page and total pages. That's what we will be working with today. Basically, what we'll need to do is to extract uh, total pages, count, and iterate through all of them. In this case, it's just two, it's not much, but it will work for us, just for the sake of example. Of course, that there could be hundreds of pages, it won't change the approach itself. And here is what um, API provides us with, with the data, some user information. Let's move on to the Power BI. Here I have example prepared already. What I like to do first is to create parameter where I will store URL of the API. You will see that it will become useful because I will be using that URL in a few places in my M code. And therefore, in case I decide to change it along the way, I would rather store it separately, change it in one place, and it will cascade everywhere. Let's move on to the M code itself and have a look what happens there. So this is the M code that we'll be working with. Uh, first, I have this function which called get page. It gets page number as an input and it processes the uh, API response. Let's go through it. it. Sends the request. Here is uh, our URL that I wasn't talking about. And here is the parameter that will it will be iterating through the page number. Then it gets the data from API response and stores it away in temporary variable called data and converts it into a table. We start with first page, right? Therefore, we run this function and pass number one for the first page to process the initial results. Once that happens, we can extract total pages. This is what happens here. As you can see, we extract the total pages parameter. In our case, it's just two pages, but it might as well be 100 pages. Once we extract the total pages, we need to generate the list of all the pages that will be iterating through. This is what happens here. It makes a list with all the numbers from one to 100 or in our case to two, so just two lines in the list. And then what happens for that list of pages, we're executing our get page function that I was talking about earlier. Basically for each page, I execute that function. So page one, execute get page, and it gets the data and response, page two, get data, page three, get data, page four, get data, and so on, and so on, and so on. And once that we're done with that, we're combining all of the data from all of the pages and returning the table. Pretty straightforward. Out of all of the API, offset-based, cursor-based, page-based, page-based ones are the simplest, simplest ones, the most straightforward ones. So once we finished here, we get the table. What I would like to do is to keep all of my transformations of the data separately. So I usually make reference uh, 
table and then do all of the transformation there. In case I decide to change something about the API itself or the way I work with it, not to affect the transformations that I already made. So, and once I'm here in reference table, I put all of the transformations here and load the data in Power BI. And here I have all of the data from this test API loaded already, user pictures, emails, names, etc. That's how easy it is working with page-based APIs in Power Query. Out of all of the three types uh, of the APIs, Courser-based, uh, Offset-based, and uh, Page-based, Page-based are the simplest ones and most straightforward ones. That's all for today. Make sure to check out other videos about Power BI on my channel. Last week, I talked about working with Courser-based APIs. Next week, I will release another video about working with offset-based APIs in Power BI. Don't miss it. Subscribe and see you next week.